Hello out there to you. In this video, let's talk about a choke price on the demand side and the supply side. So it has a couple names, like a lot of things in economics. Uh, a choke price on the demand side is, is sometimes called the reservation price. And essentially, it's where the demand curve is going to start. So if you were looking at a demand curve, here's price and here's quantity. And say this started at 120 uh, whatever units of money you want to use, uh, rupees or uh, dollars or pesos or whatever. In this in this case, it would be uh, 120. Okay, supply choke price. Let's say the supply curve started off here, uh, and what that essentially means is that the price in the market has to be five dollars in order for the firm to start uh, producing any. Okay, so how to find it? Okay, so if you get uh, a function, let's do let's do the demand uh, function here. We've got quantity equals 60 minus 3p. The inverse demand function, all that means is I'm setting the function equal uh, p equals something, where quantity is a function of price. So I'm just going to rearrange this thing. So I'll bring this over here. So that would be 3p equals 60 minus q because we're going to bring the q over there and then that would just be p equals 20 minus uh, one third q so i forgot about the one third one third q okay and so in this case there's a zero here okay so what i want to do is just plug in a zero into that quantity there um, so what is we're really saying what is the price when the quantity is zero and so that in this case it would be 20 okay so this what you want to do is find the inverse demand curve or demand function and then just plug in a zero right there okay um, let's say I had a supply curve or a supply function here which was uh, p uh, minus let's say six okay so here's this uh, again i want to rearrange uh, the function so it'd be p equals um, six plus q plug in a zero into that and so then the choke price or the reservation price for the uh, supply curve the beginning of the supply curve in this case would be six okay so just plug in a plug in a zero there and you're good okay find the price that maximizes revenue so um, this what we want to do is find the place where marginal revenue is zero okay that's going to maximize uh, total revenue and then total revenue equals price times quantity so I've got price and I need to multiply it by by uh, uh, by the quantity. So I'll just use the inverse demand function for that. So total revenue, let's start typing here. Uh, total, total revenue is uh, 20 minus one third Q. And then we're going to multiply everything by Q. That's the setup on this guy times Q. Okay, and so then. I end up with a function which is total revenue 20q minus one third and then uh, times q and it's q squared so I'm just gonna draw a squared in there okay now marginal revenue is just a partial derivative with respect to q of this so this would be uh, 20 minus two third Q okay and and I want to set that equal to zero so then zero equals 20 minus two third Q and now we've got for an out of room here so we've got two thirds Q equals 20. And we go 3 over 2. 3 
three over two. These will all cross out. Okay, 60 over two, that would be 30. So quantity 30. And I'm going to plug that into um, uh, this right here, uh, or, or either what you know, either way, whatever. You can plug it back into into this and find the price. Either way, 20 minus one third times 30. So that would be uh, 10, and the price would be 10. So the price that maximizes revenue. For that function is 10. So what you want to do again is uh, take the inverse demand function, um, find total revenue, partial derivative of total revenue, set that equal to zero because that's the maximizing condition for revenue, and then solve for Q. Use that quantity to find that price. That's your um, maximizing revenue price. Okay, and that's how to do choke price and uh, how to find that.